Adolfo Quinones, also known as Shabadoo, danced his way into many hearts around the world as an entertainer and an innovator. But the game changer never forgot his Chicago roots. He recently died at the age of 65 in Los Angeles, and now his hometown has proven it hasn't forgotten him either. Adolfo's brother, Eric Von Smith, is joining us. Hello, Eric. Thanks for joining us. So sorry for your loss. I appreciate that, and I must say I've been waiting to say to you, bonjour, Madame Mater. Bonjour, merci. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. First of all, I can't believe Shabadou started, he started here, grew up in, in Carini Green, and started his craft. I mean, how did he get his craft going? He started his dance uh, skills as a little boy because all of us in the family were... The, we're dancers, you know, we're here in Chicago, we do stepping and bopping. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I taught him was how to do the twist and the rest of it is all his. He's like the embodiment of Victor Hugo is saying, grander than the march of a mighty army into war is an idea or a dancer whose time has come. Oh, definitely so. And then he started on Soul Train and kind of went way up from there between movies, doing Madonna's choreography, Lionel Richie, even Michael Jackson. My goodness, he must have been just in his element. Just so happy. He was, he was in his element and his head never really got too big. Mm -hmm. It just encouraged him to put in the hard work because that's how you get successful, you do the work. And I don't know if many people remember the lockers, but he was a part of the lockers. And uh, what was it, Ken Berry from... Uh, uh, what, what is the show? Rerun? Remember Rerun? Rerun he yes. was, well, of course you remember Rerun, but folks out there, do you remember Rerun? Th there he is. Th they were really into that. I mean, it was amazing. Yes. It, was the, it was like their homegrown uh, type of dance. We never saw this before. His nickname among the group was Mr. Penguin. <laughs> Where did and the name Shabadoo come from? Uh, in, his, in his historical uh, rise to fame, he taught people like uh, uh, Carol Burnett how to pop lock and break dance. Even Dick Van Dyke, he taught him how to dance. Yeah, my goodness. It, it, so this was very innovative, as I was saying. A kind of a, 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 like you said, a mixture of different dances together. And we, we know that Tony Basil got her start there as well. This was yes. pretty hot. Yes, very hot. And the thing about it is when he would give his his classes, he would take the time to explain to the students the origins of dance, going all the way back to Africa, which is, of course, mm -hmm. the mother. And you talk about, he, I know here in Chicago, he would teach a lot of kids from the urban areas about dancing and how to help them get out of the neighborhoods. Yes, and it was not gymnastics like you see in some movies where they show break dancers or street dancers doing gymnastics. And in view of the Olympics of 2024 having street dance as a part of the program. Him and I both agreed and others dancing, not gymnastics. Yeah, let me, where did the name Shabadu come from? Well, he first of all got the idea from a act he saw in LA uh -huh. and the performers on the stage were saying, Shabba Dabba 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 Do. Gotcha, he, gotcha. Associate said, that's too long. Just try Shabba Do. <laughs> and it worked, it worked. So now there's a proclamation here in Chicago. That must really warm your heart. It was really something the, uh, the alderman, uh, Daniel Las Patas, mm -hmm. uh, when he arrived at the uh, Union League yesterday, which is now the Walcott School, he had done his homework. He said it began his research and it turned into an evening of enjoyment, looking at all of the episodes of Shabadoo and Lockers on YouTube, et cetera. And he came there prepared and he gave a thrilling speech. And, and what's even better, there's going to be a street named after him. Yes, yes. That's what's street. really make you feel proud. And when that happens, uh, I'll be there. Oh, of course. I of course, you will be there. Well shaved and well behaved. Yes. <laughs> well, we like that. We thank you so much. And again, our condolences. Such a such a, a, a talent that we lost this last year. At he 65. Left life. He left no page unturned. Uh, I used to work internationally, and we would run into each other in London, mm -hmm. in Munich. Of course, that made our mother very proud because she could say to her friends, "Oh yeah, my two boys ran into each other in Piccadilly." <laughs> Very nice. Eric Von Smith, thank you so much. Be safe, be well. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Uh, au revoir. A bientôt.